Thing is open. Um, okay. I am now streaming and such. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't mean to turn, <laughs> click on that. <laughs> uh oh. No. 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 I accidentally click on my VR chat tab and it's like, hey, uh, <laughs> you gonna play VR? Let me pull, pull up everything. Like, no. Oh boy. Yeah. Sadly, Tales of Irma has not had a, a VR adaptation yet. <laughs> yet? Oh god. There are plans. Maybe someday in the future when someone pays me a billion dollars for the <laughs> right, for the rights to it or something. <laughs> we'll there see. There we go. Okay. Well, more realistically, pays each of us a billion dollars for the rights, but you know. <laughs> Anyways. So. Who would like to do the last time on the Tales of Aramoi? Um... One of the school teachers got in trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, because he sold our information to the Weasels Incorporated. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, we went to say hi to Jerry. And William Ryder. Mm. Um, he mentioned how there is some strange stuff going on in the woods. We decided to try checking that out for a little bit. And um, we encountered some animals that are not doing so well. In the sense that they were not behaving normally yeah. like at all we went over to james's house and talked to james a little bit and now we're staying a night at james's place mm -hmm. that about sums it up so it's getting a bit dark out and the four of you are at james's house are you switching the map to the dark time? Yes, good idea. There we are. So yeah, the four of you are at James's house. Uh, James, of course, having welcomed you in after you guys came out of the woods looking somewhat spooked by something. If I remember correctly, he also did ask you guys if you could, you know, potentially spend the night and help him keep an eye out for something that's been spooking the animals. Because they do have a cow that lives kind of in the backyard, some chickens that live in the side yard. Yep. And recently, according to James, something's been scaring them at night. I know. Mm -hmm. um. well, thank you for uh, joining me uh, there's a phone in the hall if you wish to call your parents and let them know that you'll be where you are and such okay uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
go over to the phone to call my mom about what's uh, going on. Alright. Uh, she, of course, you know, wonders where you are at first, but then, of course, that's why you're calling, because you explain it to her. And mm -hmm. She lets you know that uh, she won't worry then. She she, kind of, she, she does trust, uh, you know, your ability to pick friends and such, so she's not worried. Okay. Yeah. Just gave her a little bit of the lowdown of just basically, hey, I'm going to be staying over at James's place for the night. And so forth. Um... Tell dad as well. Yeah, of course. And see you tomorrow morning when I okay. when I go back home again <laughs> and such. And she make sure to let you know that she will and all that. Mhm. Mm and then and uh after that Kelly just says goodbye to her mom and just and it stops the call there. Alright. Uh, is anyone else going to call their parents and let them know where they are? I think Riley would, but he doesn't have a mother anymore. Fuck wow. you, ground you stand on. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> why, why are you gonna be like this, man? <laughs> James comes out of the kitchen with a plate with some, uh... I'm trying to think of how to just... They, they kind of look like a calzone, if you ever had one. Oh, yes. Or it's kind of just like a large, breaded dumpling. Or whatever. <clears throat> I have no idea what this is. But it looks good. You missed an out, my guy. <laughs> it's a large... Uh, like... Like, if you take a pizza and fold it in a half, but then, like, the way you baked it actually attached the crust to itself. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like just this big bread pocket thing with filling, usually. Yeah, but I got this Google. <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is it, Cal? Share an image, at least. Death by Google. Oh. Sure, I'll, I'll go grab an image real quick. Is this a calzone? I don't know, you tell me, you're the one looking at it. Something like that, yeah. I'm currently getting a picture to more accurately... Ooh. More accurately display what it is he has placed before you. Or, well, it's just a big platter of... of them. He's just kind of offering to all of you. Um, yeah, this will do. Take a picture of this. Okay, if you check the Fruit Loops thing, you'll see. Oh, it's like a taco. No, because they're not open. They are sealed. It's just, yeah, it's just cut like that. It's a okay. taco. It's a stuffed Burr. pancake is what it is, Agent. <laughs> that helps you in some yes. way, shape, or form. It does not for a taco. But James brings out a big old plate just stacked high with these things. Like, me, My mother made me plenty so I could have something to eat while I staked out the backyard. You are welcome to have some if you would like. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. you are welcome. He was being friendly. Appreciate it, James. Yes. What? No, I just read something funny. Ignore me. <laughs> he's he's going to place the plate on uh on a little table in the hallway. He'll take one from the top. And then head, uh, head towards the front door, grab a flashlight, and head out around to the yard. Okay. 
assumption that you know you guys will probably join him whenever you're ready. Most likely. I'd grab one of the Keltons and one just kind of follow, just idly nomming. So you took a bite out of it? Yes. All right, give me a body roll real quick. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> gonna bite his tongue. And I'm this is some. This is because thing is, this is not in fact a calzone. It is an object of traditional Russian cooking. What am I rolling? Roll body. Roll. Body. <laughs> oh boy. So, it doesn't throw you off your feet like it might a lesser being. <laughs> <laughs> but this thing tastes very heavily of onion and meat. Hmm. That's one stuffed meatball right there. <laughs> uh, if you take a moment to actually observe the contents, it is very heavily seasoned meat. Like, there's at least two or three other, like, herbs and plants that have been put in there to season the meat. And it is half meat, half just onion. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, something tells me that this ain't a normal calzone. <laughs> <laughs> Read the Shrek, boys. This is a traditional Russian dish known as chibaduki, which is, of course, actually supposed to be that full of onion. Well, maybe a little bit less, but the ones I make are that heavily onion-based. Because Do you want to hear a funny story real quick? Sure. <laughs> so, I, 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 I learned this recipe because it looked really fucking good on a YouTube video where they were making it. And I made it, and it was very fucking heavily onion. And this is, and here's something I learned: uh, American onions and Russian onions are different sizes. <laughs> so when, so when this Russian recipe said to use two whole onions, they meant like two, like, you know, like the size of the size of onions where you could hold two of them in one hand. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> I I used the American onions because I didn't know that there was a difference. Which <laughs> you know, one onions of them big. alone is a bit is a bit bigger than a fist. Oh no! So I made some absolutely just onion heavy. <laughs> they were still really fucking good, and I'm not planning on changing my way my ways anytime soon. But, you know, just in case you need inspiration, just in case you need to know the inspiration for why these ones specifically are uh, not made the way they're meant to, because they're not supposed to be that heavily onion. But anyways, congratulations, you succeeded the body roll and did not just have, you know, just like a snotty crying reaction to onion gas. <laughs> War tactics, chemical warfare right there. <laughs> James, of course, is fine, because he's used to it, by the way, in case anyone was curious. I'm honestly not surprised at this point. Kelly grabs one, but doesn't eat it. That's fair. You probably smelled the just huge waft of sm of of a uh, onion coming from the front door where Allison was chewing on, their on hers. Yeah. <laughs> like, just a lot of onion. There's a lot of onion in this thing. Holy... <laughs> no, we continue to follow James. Alright, I'm gonna walk out as well. Alright. So, Allison and Riley have both stepped outside to follow James. Uh, Kelly is, he is heading towards the door. Trevor, you have been quiet. Shall. I shall follow the others. Sorry, my sister was in the room. You're fine. It's all good. So what are you doing? at home, though. Shush. 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 <laughs> Funny. Jess, Trevor, what are you doing? I am going to follow after Allison, James, and uh, Riley. Okay. So you head outside as well? Yes. Uh, Kelly, I assume that you're also... Yeah, I just stated that I was gonna... I'm making sure, <laughs> making sure. Alright, so, just you guys are aware. So, the chickens are along the side yard on this side. Okay. Everyone can see what I'm doing here, yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the cow's in sort of like a backfield in this general area. Okay. 
So we got cow back here, chickens over here, and then this side's just kind of empty. It's just, you know, lawn. Still a bit snowy, but, you know. Fair enough. I'm actually, actually going to check. We're... No, that was last session. So we're currently in the second half of February, I believe. I believe uh, so. Yeah. 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 So next session we'll be getting back into spring. Yeah, because um last session was the first of February, and the uh, month before that was uh, January. Actually, do you want to know something interesting that no one checked last session? What? Hmm. Uh, as you may know, last session was a Friday, on February. Mm. Uh, mm. Because no one checked a calendar to find out what exact, what exact day it was, it was a 13th. Oh no! So if anyone Perfect. had checked the calendar that morning, you might have had some foreshadowing that a lot of bad stuff was going to happen, such as finding out your teacher sold you out and such. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> In for sudden lake and fog everywhere. Aw, oh, shit. I, I, I was really hoping someone would check because I actually found a calendar website for you know past years and used <laughs> it to figure out exactly what year it would have to currently be for that to have happened. <laughs> so in case anyone is curious, uh, the exact year is 1987. Noted. So yes. now I know my music reference exact range. It is currently the year 1987. Uh, last session was February, Friday 13th. And if you check the calendar for 1987, it was actually, there was actually a Friday the 13th in February. I'm just making, I'm just making a note for myself that right there. There we go. And uh, so, something else I've been doing is, you know how you guys have been going to the drive-in movie theater once in a while? Yeah. Uh, I have been looking for movies that were out uh in or before 1987. Like, I've actually been trying to make sure the movies were also... I thought we also chatted accurate. on what year it was, and I put it in slightly. Uh, at Maybe. some point. In the attacks. Let me see. I think you guys were trying to puzzle out what exact year it was at one point, because I wasn't giving specifics. Yeah. But I know that... I, I, I might not have done it for the first two visits to the drive-in movie theater, but I know that for... Some of the more recent ones, I've been making sure that they were around the right actual year. Okay. Mm. I just felt like letting you guys know that I'm actually putting more effort than I normally would into the whole this, because oh. I'm very pleased with myself. Let's see. Because I think... Consume the child. Told you all the year wouldn't matter, and I it didn't matter what the year was, and I would never bother with it. And guess what? It was <laughs> secretly a thing the whole time. I've been planning what year it was all along. Ooh. It wasn't even that fucking important. <laughs> I don't think it is important still. It isn't. <laughs> okay. But just, all that tells just... me is how far into the 80s I can go with music references. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm just pleased with that. Anyways, but you're all moving outside into the side yard, the backyard and such. James is out just kind of patting the cow. Making sure, making sure, making sure the old cow feels safe and happy. Because James is there giving, giving pats. I'm not a... I'm going to just kind of look around the scenery, just, and such. Alright. Just kind of observing. Yeah. Alright. Uh... Do I need to roll investigate? I mean, you can if you want to. <laughs> uh... The session just started! <laughs> <laughs> you don't see you don't really see anything moving out there at the moment uh, I mean you see the chickens you see the cow you see James you see your friends yeah you don't see anything moving out in the woods yet well we're he boned said, yet I don't like that <laughs> <laughs> keyword yet I mean, as fun as a bunch of build-up for nothing is as a narrative tool, I always thought it was kind of bullshit. 
<laughs> like maybe once in a while. But even then, I'd normally just use it as a misdirect for something else to suddenly pop out when you think that it, you know, was a build up to nothing, you know? Anyways. Oh, <laughs> my luck. I had to waste it on that. <laughs> So what are all of you doing around the cows and the chickens and James there patting the cow and mm -hmm. Kelly f shining a flashlight around? I I'm just going to make the assumption you all have a flashlight at the moment. If you yeah. didn't have one, James had spares or whatever, you know, like... That this reminds be a me, you never gave me back my flashlight, Trevor. Wait, what? From Trevor? the cave incident. You never gave me back that flashlight. There was an incident with a cave? Huh. Guess it's still in my bag then. Yeah. Probably would be. Eh, it's in the house then. Lost so we have a flashlight with us. Cause Kelly had like two flashlights when she went to the uh, cave with the spaceship, and she handed one over to Trevor, I believe. And she never got that flash flashlight back. <laughs> Guys, it's not really the time to be having intergroup drama. Yes, I me mean, as the DM, please, go ahead, please. <laughs> <laughs> please, fight over this flashlight, it amuses me. God has told us to fight over the flashlight, begin the brawl. we eat the cow. No. no. Get what? I'm kidding. No. You know, I'm just, Riley's just gonna enjoy the night as is. At this point, just with all the crap that's been going on, he's just, just gonna look at the stars and enjoy the night. Is this what it is? You sound fucking dead, Kuma. You alright? We are not going to discuss this now or ever. Good day. Alright. So, Riley, what are you doing? You said you're just hanging out, but. Yeah, I'm more, just hanging more out. Speci more specifically, what are you doing? I'm, I'm looking at the stars. I'm just in, it's like looking up and enjoying the stars until. Just standing know. around, looking up. Yeah. All right. Enjoying the night. Right, just kind of standing around, looking up at the stars. Kelly was keeping an eye out and also uh, talking to Trevor about where the heck her flashlight is. Allison, what are you doing? I'm gonna talk with James and just say, so is there any idea like what could be out here since spooking the animals? He kind of shrugs. I would assume just coyotes or wolves or something. Just some. Uh, animal out there keeps coming in, looking at the cows, and the cow doesn't like that. Chickens mm. don't either, for that matter. Has there been any, like, tracks nearby or anything? I mean, not the whole lot. The snow has been still falling, so it covers up in whatever's been out here by morning. That's fair. Hmm. Has there been like any like injuries on the animals or? No, not yet. Beyond just them being spooked, I can't say for certain what, if anything, it is. It's a bit odd. Mm, yeah. Kelly, did you see anything in the woods early? Mm, no. Doesn't seem like there's any activity or anything like that so far. What about you, Riley? Do you see any spaceships in the sky there? <laughs> if you're gonna be racist, you should expect a punch in the face. Second off, no, I haven't seen anything as of unusual in the night sky besides the stars. I think Riley's been reading a detective novel. Uh, you know, here or there, when I spend my, my time in the treehouse, yes. But, uh, yeah. I would suspect, though, that whatever is going to attack, if anything isn't going to attack, with five unknown individuals currently walking around with bright freaking lights in the, in the backyard of said person's house which is possible food source if it were five unknown individuals without flashlights walking around the forest i believe our 
perpetrator in question wouldn't, you know, have much of an issue going around. I'm not saying we should turn our flashlights off, but I'm just saying we're making ourselves look like a big old target for whatever's out there. Isn't that kind of the point, though? To a certain extent, yes, if we wish to keep the animal safe for night one of whenever it's going to come back. You know, we're not going to be here at James's place every single night. We want to figure out what's, you know, attacking the creatures. I would suggest we find the source and take care of it, because, like I said, you know, it can come back at any point in time and just off whatever's in here. That being said, James, I'm, I don't know what you do for your personal life, but I don't suspect you're going to be sitting here out here in the farmland near the backyard every single night waving around a flashlight. Unless, you know, you do that, in which case then no judgment here. So what's the plan for tonight, then? Do we stick around out here, or do we go walk off into the woods to see if we can find something? Uh, hmm. Hold on, the last time we went into the woods, we encountered three animals that were not doing so well. It was going to stay, yeah. Yeah, but they also weren't very fast. We could easily just outrun them if we really needed to. Have you not, like, watched a single zombie movie? <laughs> Uh, well, at least read a book. Read non-fiction novels here that zombies in large numbers are a very bad threat to people. And again, if we let ourselves get cornered, yes. This but we're faster and smarter than them. And there's not that many of us. So we James, should... uh, so someone roll empathize real quick. Okay. <laughs> James seems concerned about whatever it is you guys are talking about. Okay. What, what, what are you guys talking about? What's so, going on? So, James, earlier on the day we were out in the woods, and we encountered three animals that were not too steady on their feet, with their jaws hanging open, and kind of limping towards us. Tab a deal. And these were animals that you would normally kind of see not getting close to us in any sense like a grown full buck a wolf a badger yeah he seems puzzled what does what does that have to do with uh, the with z zomb zombies uh his new word We'll, t we'll discuss it later, and I'll probably get you a book. As of right now, though, the main concern is that in, in attack from a tactical standpoint, or a, a concerning standpoint in terms of warfare, uh, many things coming at us at, in, from a large mass perspective in terms of numbers is bad uh, in correlation with five kids running around with flashlights. That was a lot of words. Big number of animals doing weird things is bad against five kids with flashlights. Not true. Sure. I have a knife. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Stab the thing to death? What are you gonna do with the other four? <laughs> Again, they're slow and dumb. Yeah, well, I'm looking at an animal then right now, but at this point in time, we shouldn't be going around stabbing animals. There's gotta be something to this that isn't making any sort of sense, but is connecting everything together because like like she said full-grown bucks don't exactly come <clears> out <throat> unless i've been reading my nature book wrong and that tends to be a case because supposedly there's a right way to read a book and it's supposedly not backwards <coughs> well you see that would be the point of going out there to see if we can find something 
don't know. Maybe there's something we can't see very well in the day that's out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's what do you what do you two think? Looks over to Kelly and Trevor. Odds of us getting screwed over out there are high. That's what I'm saying. Well, sitting around here isn't going to do a whole lot for us. Yeah, and plus, how many other stupid stuff have we done? Point is, I'm gonna go out there. Y'all stay here if you want. But I'm going to go look around. I'm gonna follow. Oh, boy. <sighs> I... Let's go and follow us. Alright, well, make sure to move your tokens around as as you go places. So I can keep track of where you are. Just adjust my... Uh... Kelly, go ahead and roll in this <laughs> Oh my god. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Why? <clears throat> uh... Riley, roll investigate. Because the thing is, both of you passed through this space. Oh god. <laughs> what's, what's in that space? What did Kel- did What am I standing in, and what did she pass? <laughs> so Kelly, you, you would realize, after you had moved past it, unfortunately, uh, that you, know, you would just walk past something potentially dangerous. Riley, you would notice, as it's, you know, half a foot- from your from your foot that it's the badger oh great hi <laughs> anybody don't give no fucks i'm gonna just back up slowly <laughs> is it still acting dumb it is still just kind of attempting to pull itself along the ground okay we'll be fine then you just gotta keep walking what happened to stabbing everything? I never uh, said I was gonna attack everything. James, James is kind of staying with the cow. Just, where are you guys going? <sighs> All right, you three go out and figure out what's going on in the woods. I'm staying with James to make sure that the animal stays safe. Because at this point, this thing, and he points to the badger, isn't going to quit at any point in time. Trevor, you stay with uh, Riley as well. Okay, I guess we're dealing it's with It's up to now. you, Trevor, because at this point, me and Trevor, me and James are here. We make a formidable force defending the farm, and we have the house, and I'm assuming something to defend ourselves with. You three out in the middle of the forest with no defense. I would actually recommend that Trevor go with you guys. No okay. defense? Yeah, I'm looking at you, man with pocket knife. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I'm going to be staying here with what I assume James has a pitchfork somewhere. And I have my weapon just fine. Besides, okay. you'll need Trevor out there because he has the gloves. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So I will stay here at James's place. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys go have fun murdering whatever's in the forest. Trevor. Trevor. Sorry, I'm missing someone real quick. <laughs> Get off your fucking phone. <laughs> Not in this time state. You can do that later when we're in the safety of the town. You're in the middle of a forest. <laughs> I surprisingly have good reception. It's not the year for this type of phone. <laughs> not, I was gonna say, carrying a block phone. Seriously, <laughs> this day Yes, I am carrying a fucking BlackBerry or some shit that somehow existed back then. Oh, Don't Jesus. question it. <laughs> Jesus H Christ! All right. What? All right. I'm I'm assuming, James, you have something in terms of farm tools that we can use, if in doubt. The, the, the dinguses in the forest attempt to bring something back. James shakes his head. You have, nothing, <laughs> you, you have farm tools of any sort? A stick? A really long stick? 
You have to understand, we're just ranchers, not not the uh, farmers. Okay, okay. And just <laughs> just rolls up his sleeves, and it's like, all right, we're in there for that kind of night. <laughs> Just sit, sit on the fence line, or, or just sit near the edge of the farm and just eyeball the forest. All right, or, go ahead and roll investigate. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Uh, you would notice the the deer from earlier on still having trouble moving. I'm assuming uh, it's moving towards us. Yes, you would see it coming out of the tree line. I'm currently moving. Keep in mind placeholder tokens. I don't exactly have just zombified deer as a spare th picture I have laying around. Oh, well, <laughs> fantastic. So I'm, I'm using that. Okay. But you would see it as it comes out of the tree line and starts moving towards the fence surrounding where the cow stays. The cow's little bit of land. Okay, so it's it's about... I would say one turn away from for, to, from getting to the cow. Well, it is it is currently uh, a few feet out from the fence. Okay. I I just look towards James and, and, and the like, and the cow ha and the cow has started uh, mooing, upset. Okay, I look to James. This is what I'm talking. This is what they were talking about. This is currently. Kind of, what James kind of looks a little shocked, looking at it. He's like, "What is wrong with it?" We're not exactly sure, but we're going to find. You and I are going to find out. Uh, and I just start walking towards it and just start letting loose uh, the scythes and start getting in a defensive formation. Also, of course, you three can hear the cow beginning to moo, upset, because it is quite a loud cow when it is upset. Uh oh. Do we want to turn back or do we want to wait? So, Riley, do not forget to move your token to oh, yes. represent where yes. you are. There you go. There you go. Uh, so, you're, so you're standing on the inside of the fence with mm -hmm. your arms slides out. James is... I assume you have your back to James? Yes. Arms kind of up to your chest? Yeah, to a certain extent. All right, so he can't see the sides at this point, so he's not going to, like, ask you Freaking. about them at, the, at this exact second. Not the, not the time or the place. <laughs> I mean, he'll ask about him if he does see him, obviously. Yeah. Um. He's currently just kind of hugging onto the cow's neck, trying to get him to calm down so they don't wake anyone up. I feel like the three animals that we were dealing with is now at the place Riley and James are. I mean, already passed the badger. Yes. Do one of you want to go back and see if everything's all right? Uh, I can try. Do you want to go with her, Trip, and make sure she can get there safely? At that point, we may as well just go back, because I ain't leaving your dumbass out here. Can I attack the deer? Allison? No, I was waiting for Rhea to respond to, like, respond to, like, Riley. Yeah, can, can Riley assault the deer? Uh, there's currently a fence between you and it. Oh, yeah, and we're it's... waiting till the deer gets close. And, and a bit of distance, too, of course, because it's currently... Yeah, so, we'll, so we'll wait until the deer gets into threatening range. It is slowly making its way over to the fence. Okay. So, are we all going, or am I just gonna... Okay. You two should head back to Riley because Riley, there's a thud as the deer kind of slams its torso into the fence. All right, I'm a, I'm gonna take one of my arms, like reach out, and then just slash at it. Anywhere in particular? Uh, I'm aiming for the neck. Just All right. because I know give that's me, gonna be. Give me a force roll using the arm. The Sids. Okay. All right, you you take a good chunk out of the neck, and you know, you can see it, you know, bleeding onto the snow. Okay. 
And you can see as its eyes slowly seem to, like, gloss over as it dies. But oh. it doesn't fall over. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, you just made a little zombie now, bro. Oh, we're gonna have you know, I'm, I'm gonna just... Um, Kelly's gonna... I'm gonna just head back. See what's up. Trevor, go with her. Uh, Kelly, you 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 are moving fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're moving fast. This the snow is not like slowing you down or anything. She's already back. Fuck. Okay. She's she's <laughs> already back. She she rolled a three on move. She booked it down back down back down. Back down, back down. <laughs> move with me. All right. Well, okay then. James James is spooked because I mean seeing things die is not necessarily foreign to him. I mean, you know, the chickens once in a while. But, uh... Violence. He, he's not used to something acting in a strange way, dying, but then not really dying. <laughs> <laughs> dying, quote-unquote. He dying. seems a bit horrified. He's like, how is this still moving? How, how is it still moving? Listen. As, it, as you can watch, as it actually, like, pulls itself back and slams its torso into the fence again, hearing it creak a bit. Oh, my God. All right, you gonna be like that? All right, fine, fine. Freaking, you're the most stubborn deer I've met in this forest, so we're just gonna end it as uh, it is. We'll give it a second, Kelly. Go ahead and give me an investigate roll because you moved around that side of the house. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Kelly, you, Kelly, you would notice that the kind of messed up wolf was sneaking around that end of the house. Oh and great! It, Hi. <laughs> and now it has spotted you, and it's. <laughs> it is trying to make its way uh, you know it, it had been trying to make its way to the fence to get to the cow but now it's one of you and is very with, with great difficulty doing that weird shambling of not knowing how limbs work to try and come towards you now. great okay okay I'm gonna just keep my distance from this thing I'm, I'm gonna step back just slightly all right. Uh. So I'm guessing since I don't see any tools around, um, for us to actually do something. Uh. God. Should have said Trevor here. Should have <laughs> said Trevor. Um. Kelly, you'd hear off to the side. Uh, something slam into the fence again. You would probably, if you hadn't already, see the fact that there is a partially decapitated deer trying to force its way through the fence. What the fuck? Riley would take another swing at the deer, try, aim for the neck again to try to lob it off. All right, go oh. ahead and give force. Gotcha. With, the, with, with the SIDS again. I'm, I'm mispronouncing on purpose because it amuses me. <laughs> Shit. Uh... There is no longer any, like, flesh or muscle holding this thing's head on. It's just a section of spine that is, you know, bent as its head is kind of hanging. And it's still moving. Freaking deer. Alright. Riley would just look back towards James to make sure him and the animals are safe. Uh, hey. The cow, the cow seems still, still seems significantly spooked, and James is still just seeming somewhat horrified, but still trying to pat the cow to keep it mm. calm while he himself is not. <laughs> just, I need you to focus right now, my friend. Just keep yourself and the cow calm. I'm handling this the best I can. It's going to be fine. Hey, Riley. Okay. okay. Just, just do your best. Yes. Ah, uh, the wolf's here as well. <sighs> not helping. All right. <laughs> Luckily, it seems to have its eyes set for me. <laughs> okay, lead it back into the forest with the rest of the crew. I'll try. No guarantees. In the forest. Oblivious. Lead Kelly, back roll. to the people with weapons. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll try. Kelly, roll investigation. The badgers. Kelly. The badgers nearby ain't it. It's caught up to you. Wait, the badger was behind us and after us? Oh, fuck. Oh. Remember, you guys ran past it. 
into the woods, and then Kelly ran back. Oh. oh. It's been trying... In case it wasn't obvious, you guys ran into these things in the forest earlier in the day, and then ran to James's place, which is where they might have gone anyways, but then they followed you. Not and then you ran out, and the badger saw you run out, so it followed, and then saw Kelly run back, so it followed her back. Art. Uh... Just... Okay, problem. I also have the badger on my, uh, with me as well. Hmm. Uh, just, just try to move around it and again lead them both back to the boys. Okay. Uh, I, I'll I'm, try. I'll I'm try. Dealing with Mr. Headbutt over here, and it's not exactly going well. Okay. Kelly's gonna step over here and start trying to. Tighten these guys over. Alright. The badger's a bit slow, but the wolf has turned its head and is slowly making its way after you as best it can with its not understanding how legs work properly. Okay. It's lack of locomotive motion. It's just keeping it so it it still sees me, but also apparently the deer uh is slamming itself into the fence again and it's creaking kind of dangerously now. Shoot! All right, I'm gonna take one more slam at its at its what's left of its neck. All right, let me yeah, let me roll. Oh, come on. Uh, your arm slides just... I assume you're... Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. We're, you're aiming for the little bit of neck yeah. that's left there. Yeah, spine. that's fine. Uh, your arm slides just kind of, you know... Just kind of bounce off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. Um... Can I... Just generally just push its head away by the antlers, just like push it. Uh, this is. is did any point did I specify if it had horns or not? Uh, you it's said it was an adult buck, so I was assuming that okay, it has yeah, antlers. So, yeah. So it have horns. yeah, it has horns. Okay. So, uh, general force roll. Uh, give me. Well, I mean, give me an investigate before you touch the horns. Okay. You would notice as your hands get close to the horns, uh, something up from the light of uh, James's flashlight. There's something wrong with the horns. Okay, I'm gonna take my hands back. Uh, James, if you have an extra hand, uh, can you shine a flashlight towards my general direction? Uh, he kind of tries to steady himself and properly aim the flashlight at at the. At the buck. I'm guessing during this time, um, Kelly managed to kite these two things over. I mean, you haven't been able to keep a very good eye on the badger considering how low to the ground it is. It's kind of in the snow. But you can very clearly tell that the wolf is here. Hey, guys! Um, so... <laughs> can't leave mm. you alone for more than a few minutes, can well, we? <laughs> look, these things were at James's farm. Riley's already dealing with the deer. Ah, uh, I well, mean, that's probably one of the easier ones to deal with compared to a wolf. And I mean, also the badger's probably not too far away from us as well. Lovely. Fucking awesome. So what's the plan here? Um... Riley told me to go to you guys, seeing how you guys were, had the weapons, and Riley's busy dealing with the punch. deer. Alright, so I guess that's... You know, I wanted to avoid trying to kill these animals, but I guess considering the situation, that we're not given much of an option, are we? Not really, no. I mean, fucking eat or be eaten shit, I don't fucking know. Something, something, Animal Kingdom, fuck by now. 
You know we can get in a lot of trouble for killing these animals, right? Like, a lot of trouble? Would pleading self-defense work? Maybe? Technically, yes. Fuck it, please help her done. Speaking of keep of getting in trouble for killing animals. <coughs> so Riley, the flashlight's on the buck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna roll investigate to, to look at this. Look at what the d Just... the horns. The horns. Alright. Uh taking a full like moment to properly check the horns. Uh with the light on them. Uh it's hard to see. But you know how, you know, if you put, like, a flashlight really up close to, like, your hand or whatever, you can kind of see the veins in it and such. Yes. You can kind of see, you know, veins in the horns a little bit. Uh, well, that's not right. Okay, then. Um, I'm going to just... I try to do my best to avoid the horns and just try to push it like by its forehead like I try to not touch the horns but at the same time push its head away you're just gonna try and like where, where are you trying to touch this thing like in, like it's like a, generally it's forehead so i can just eh, go away <laughs> All right, so you're, so you're putting your bare hand on its head. Yes. I don't like that. <laughs> but just listen, no pain, no gain. Oh. Uh... Voice roll. Got a one. All right. Keep in mind, its head isn't as attached to the rest of its body as it was a minute ago. Uh, you know, I'm hoping if it snaps its neck, it snaps its neck. If I can disorient it in any way, shape, or form, we're going with it. So you kind of push its head it kind of well you would expect it to just kind of swing back and forth and dangle a bit from the bit of spine that's still holding it to the rest of the body yes uh and it starts to a little bit but you would feel sudden sharp pains in the palm of your hand ah no shit <laughs> just pull my hand back that's not uh, it are you going to look at anything? Yeah, let me look at my hand, see if I'm cool. Alright. I don't see shit. <laughs> oh, no. You oh. don't see anything, but you feel the pain growing in your hand. I'm oh, gonna clap. no. I'm just gonna clasp my hand and just move back a bit. Amputation. No, no. I'm not amputating my hand. I was infected. Kuma, give, give me a body roll real quick. Got you. Nope. No, no! <laughs> oh, shit. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, if this is how I'm going out, I'm going out fighting. Damn, bug boy got infected. How ironic is that? Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I find he's alien. Maybe he's more immune. Let's, let's, get, let's get back to him in a minute. <laughs> I want to think of what the fuck I'm supposed to do. <laughs> you didn't expect me to be this stupid. Well, you're wrong. You've all been doing so well recently. I thought maybe. Oh, uh, the warning signs were there. The warning signs right. were there. Defense. So the rest of you three, the wolf is shambling its way towards you as best it can. You're wearing your gloves, right, Trevor? Uh, yes. They're both good for winter wear and killing things. Got it. We're gonna beat the shit out of the wolf. Um. Me first, you first. Um. Well, first, let's... Uh. Actually, uh, um, I'm pointing the flashlight at the wolf, and I'm gonna do this. Do I notice anything? Other than the fact that it's just shuttling towards us in a fucking shitty manner. Uh, with a one, I'd say you would not. Okay. So, my idea, Trevor. We're going to kick it in the head to disorientate it a little further. Then I'm going to stab it. It's going to look at me, and you're going to punch it inside of the head. 
Sound good? Yes. Who wants to kick it? You or me? The gloves don't work with me kicking, so you can. Got it. I'm going to kick the wolf in the face. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll force. And nice. Zero <laughs> success. The world hits me. <laughs> you flip on a patch of ice. Yeah, that didn't work. You are now on your butt near the wolf. And, Thanks, it, is and it is moving closer. New plan. Stab it in the face. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, go for it. Well, some on the ground. It's either get up and nearly get bitten I... or stab. Alright, do force do force with the knife for stab. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> chances and not a single one the world hates me how many dice do you have you have like 12 dice how is this happening the world hates you general. should be more than equipped for this well guess what the game hates me just like orange jesus <laughs> You know, he has a point. God, what the fuck? This has been an occurrence the entire game. How many times do I have to point this out, people? How many times do you have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> you you have quite literally the maximum. No you should have a 200% chance to get at least one success with 12 <laughs> fucking dice. You know, with all the things for these can sessions, give, it's like... Can we give each another chance? No, I'm Are using you... my luck point. Luck die? Yeah, use your... Use your... Hey, wait a second. Oh, that brings up a good question. Riley, that's you have luck. Talk. That's the wrong thing. Hang on. That's the wrong thing, not that. Riley, by the way, you have there luck points, right? I do, yes. Riley, could, I realize it's been a little bit, but you didn't do it at the time. Maybe use that luck point now no, to reroll. No, I'm dying like a man. No. <laughs> Riley, I am, dying. I am dying like a man. <laughs> All right, fine. Fine, I'll use investigate, whatever. Just, no, it's just body. Like, just, just, just like reroll the oh, body yeah. or re body. the force or something. Just body. Sure, yes, that. No. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Riley, re <laughs> let, let me check what conditions there are. Because I, I remember that that's a thing that has to happen. Roll it's scared, exhausted, scared, angry, broken. Uh, give me injured, I guess. Okay. I am injured. Oh, no, 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 you, you don't immediately check it off. Oh. How it works is you tell me that you're going to risk injured, and then you re-roll, and you, if you succeed the re-roll, everything's fine, and if you don't, you take off injured. Okay, I'm risking injured. It's kind of like a bet. You're betting that you're going to succeed this I am this next betting call. my life. No. <laughs> you basically are. Oh, yikes. Okay, what I'm betting fuck? injured for this. Please, please succeed. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I'm just taking. I'm just taking a second to relax. All right. Then I'll describe what happened. <laughs> Are we having a heart flatline moment? <laughs> this I've is the game where so things hit. <laughs> I've done so much to prepare you guys for heavier hitters, and things are not going well. Let's, let's look back upon the three sessions where Agent wasn't here, and regret. <laughs> the one fighter we have, and he's not doing it! Well, it looks like I'm not making a difference either way! <laughs> Points could have been It'll useful. Be Alright. So... Okay, so Riley. Yes. So, admittedly, we are kind of uh, turning the clock back a little bit to do this this little God's scene moment. Me. Yes, God is giving you a hand. <laughs> He's giving you your hand back. <laughs> anyway, it's... Well, it's kind of so, to see what happens. You, you stepped away from the deer after trying to push its head, and you felt the pain in your hand. And that sort of ancestral memory thing kicks in. In fact, humans might even call it instinct. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, your other hand whips around, grabs at something, and you feel something almost like a sliver, but larger, being yanked from the hand you touched the deer with. 
Oh. And just reflectively, you fling it away from you as fast and as far away as you can. So you don't really get a good idea of what it was, but something from the deer was on your hand and was causing you a lot of pain. Okay. Now we'll go back to... Uh, now we will go back <laughs> to Alfred yeah. man managing to stab at the... Where are you stabbing the wolf? The, the closest part, i.e. its face. Stab its face. Alright. Uh, any particular part of the face? Or just... Uh, probably... Well, we'll say probably around its jawline, I guess. Be the best area to describe it. All right. Because, so uh, yeah. So you stab its jawline, and I'm going to say you manage to, to dislodge one side of its lower jaw. Like, you just kind of cut through the bit there that's supposed to hold it on, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, All three of you that are there, Allison, Trevor, and Kelly, roll investigates. Kelly gets a two. Oblivion doesn't see anything. Allison does not see anything. I'm not <laughs> built for investigating. I'm built for fighting, but I can't even do that right. No, it's fine. So, first thing of note, the wolf does not seem to turn at all. Like it whimpers and it whines and it seems and it you know it it sounds like it's very much in pain and upset, but its body is not really showing that as it's still trying to get to you. But the other thing Kelly would notice is a bunch of small red tendrils kind of reaching between the two parts where the jaw used to be connected. Oh, that's uh, that's a fun image to see. Yes, you know, you'd probably have learned this at some point, but veins and, you know, other such things don't do that when you cut them. <laughs> like, that's not uh, streams of blood just kind of waving about for whatever reason. Those are th those are just, like, some red tendrils that are probably not supposed to be there trying to reach across the gap for where they used to be connected. Guys, be careful. Heavily so. You think we weren't being careful? Well, the thing is, I just saw um, what should be blood gushing out, but red tendrils coming out from the wound you just made. I mean, it is bleeding, but there's also those which are much more, you know, much, much, much more engaging or whatever. You're looking at them much more readily than the blood. I also, the blood. Kelly, also Kelly, you can just like shine your flashlight on them, and they can see it because you pointed it out. Yeah, I, I'm is doing so right now. A, is me punching this even a good idea anymore? Punch it in the forehead. Do not touch the mouth. I'm gonna break the skull, bet. <laughs> yeah, or aim, no, aim at the back of its neck, except for the fucking spine. Yes, speak, oh wait, this up. I know how to do that, actually. <laughs> do it, I, then. Right. I'm gonna start trying to get up. <laughs> Alright, okay. go, Alvin, go ahead and roll move to escape this thing. Alright, you managed to skedaddle the hell away from it. I need to go bring up, uh, the gloves. So Trevor, you are striking with intent to just do some serious damage. <laughs> I, yes, intent here is like bone breaking and shit. All right. So let me go ahead and I'll just do it in the open because you know. Yeah. No extra successes. Okay. But you did still get two successes, which is a good amount. Ah. So you're aiming for the neck? Or the skull? Yeah, what, like, because we'll pretty much like the back of the skull where the spine starts kind of thing. Like where you would like, where the, where a collar would be on a dog type of thing. You're aiming for the brainstone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you hear the bones crack and break and otherwise dislodge and disconnect and other such words. I'm going to do this, see if... This one? Yeah, I'm... 
I'm uh, letting thoughts run through my head. So, you know, and it's it's his head just does does just kind of uh, slump a bit. Like it's not having as easy a time supporting it. I'm waiting for a certain key phrase. I was about to say, I'm waiting to hear the it's still moving part. Oh, it is. Fucking called it. <laughs> so... What do we do now? We've, uh, we've broken this uh, jaw. You, 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 you hit it, right? You... We all heard the bones, right? I yeah! Say, I was about to say, that was bones breaking, yes. And it's still... Can we even kill it? Is it dead, or...? Where's the badger currently? Where's the badger? Oh, fuck. Respawn, where's the badger? <laughs> and Rolf investigates. Oh fuck! Oh, okay. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> when we all suddenly was wait, there's a badger here a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Found it. I'm gonna move back a little bit. Okay, new plan. Break its legs. <laughs> I mean, yes, I guess. The very least will slow it. You do that for the badger, cause that'll be easier with your knife. Yeah. I can, cause that thing's lower to the ground. Oh, do we want to? Do you want to be left alone with the wolf, or do we want to focus on this thing for now? You go handle the badger. I can handle this thing, hopefully. Yeah. So I'm just gonna move around these two and go go with the badger. <laughs> what is the badger doing? It's trying to pull itself along the ground. It it seems to have even less of an idea of how using all four limbs works. <laughs> It's also why it's been moving around so slow. Fair enough. I'm just gonna try and cut off its leg. Or at least stab into its leg to make it not work. I'm just, just trying to stab it in the leg? Yeah, just trying to like dislocate its leg so it's even harder to use. All right, go ahead and roll force with the knife or whatever it is you're going to use. We're right. both up in the world, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that is what you're supposed to have, you know, probability-wise, a 100% chance of getting. Because you should, by probabilities rule, you should get one six per six dice rolled. Like, th that should be the norm. I don't know what was going on earlier. Anyways, <laughs> this is a computer, not a, fi not a not a physical handful of d6. Yeah. So you stab it in the leg, and you know you feel as things come apart, and it tries to bite at you. Can or I being, you know, close. I mean, your knife's kind of in it at the moment. Like its legs are. Like, I was assuming you were stabbing it in a four leg because that was closer, and its mouth is kind of near those. True. Yeah, can, can I try and track my hand and just kick it real quick? Okay. Is that is that an option, is what I'm asking? I mean, it is. <laughs> so, I assume move to like, get my hand away from it with the knife? Yes. You managed to get away from it just in time. Like that's one of the advantages of it. The whole thing, it doesn't have a very big mouth. Can't go very far. I'm gonna kick the bitch. Alright, roll force. 
I punt the fucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys lose sight of the badgers. It goes hurtling through the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Ross, I didn't know you play football. I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, I swear to God, if right. I see a flying badger come at me, I'm going to kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Riley gets hit by flying magic. <laughs> I mean, it was going this way, so if anything, it would. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going just... to murder all of you. <laughs> I mean, those rolls just now were to help determine, like, scatter and distance. <laughs> Wind direction, flying badger. How 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 much did Allison do? I mean, it went in a direction and a distance. <laughs> <laughs> For him to know and us to probably find out. Probably. <laughs> oh God, by the end, I... I'm gonna punt you somewhere. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Dealing with wolf time. I'm actually just fucking picturing how a wolf was built, real quick. So, right there. So, da da da. -da. Okay, so aiming for like its hip would be the probably easier than like actually trying to take its leg out. Because that would just work. Haha. -ha! Hmm? Oh. I was sitting here. I was sitting here going over in my head. Okay, how can I break this thing's leg without having to get onto the floor? I take. <laughs> I, I aim for a tip. All right, so you're just gonna kind of try to move around it. <laughs> yeah, like go to the side. Pretty much try hooking the fore hip. All right, go or ahead. Shoulder, and technically. Go ahead and give me a move roll to get around it. You know. Oh yeah. Because it can still turn. No, this is enough. It's not. You can turn, just not fast and all, you know. Alright, and then... What is the thought in your mind as you throw the punch? The leg just, like, exploding. <laughs> so, more bone-breaking. Also, one of my viewers just said, So long, there, badger! <laughs> 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 All right. so you, but you, you didn't get any bonus successes, but you did get the two primary ones. Uh, so you hear, you know, you hear the bones cracking and shattering from the hip. And again, it's it's back right like kind of slumps a bit. This kind of drags in. I'm Flail gonna... feels a little too active, but the leg is still moving, but can't support the rest of the body really at all. Cause you know the the connection's no longer there. I'm gonna take do this. Nope, still no look. In the sense of looking at this thing. Yeah. So that's that's the hind leg of that side. I'm gonna aim for the. Four leg of the same side, then. All right, go ahead. Uh, and I assume, imagining things just bursting again. Yes. Hey, hello. No? There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, you have a success. A. Hey. So you get one success. You don't really feel anything break, but. You know, you do feel bone grind on bone. Like, you did do a significant amount of damage. Though it doesn't seem to really mind. Right. And it does also whip its head around to try and bite at you. Because, again, four legs are kind of near the head. <laughs> right. Uh, Move. Oops, yeah, that's going to be a fucking stumble <laughs> back. You managed to... You hop away pretty quickly. Ha ha! Hmm. It is still up. Allison, help! <laughs> Got it. I'm gonna move over while it's messing with him. You and Trent seven its back hind legs hip. You're trying to run up and stab it in the other hip while it's looking at Trevor. Yeah. Go ahead and 
Yeah, go ahead and roll force. Uh, you managed to jam the knife in pretty solidly, but it doesn't feel like you really did much to slow it down. New plant. Okay. Move to the side a bit. I'm going to kick its knee in. Or at least try to. I was after pulling knife. I mean, go for it. Am I good to do that respawn? Uh, one more time. I pull the knife out and I'm going to go try and kick its knee inwards. All right. Give me a move into force because you're going to have to move a little quick now that it's probably got, now that you probably got its attention. So you managed to move fine. Uh, yeah. You hear the knee kind of break and snap. No, I'd back away a little bit in case it was turning to me. Uh, so now with both back legs, you know, broken. Uh, it continues to try and uh, turn towards Allison at the moment. Though it is, of course, having a much greater difficulty moving. Guys, fuck it. <laughs> Just Kelly trying to be the ever watching eyes while, while we're over here beating the shit out of a wolf. <laughs> yeah, basically. Basically. I'm just waiting for the sip of tea and then they come kick its shit in with us. <laughs> Turn it into the JoJo meme. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> fucking attempt, fucking another attempt at the at another at one of the four legs, I guess. All right. It's only the front front legs uh, there. So four, yeah, four legs. Yeah. Five. So yes, you you hear the leg breaking as it again slumps further to the ground now with only one foreleg that really works. God fucking damn it! <laughs> I'm assuming it turns to Trevor. <clears throat> yeah, it turns to Trevor, and uh, um, this because it's been. Got his attention being pulled back and forth so much it didn't have a chance to try and snap at him, so I'm not going to have him roll move for it. And during that motion, I'm going to go try and kick in its other leg. <laughs> Alright, roll for it. Uh, the leg, you know, bends and then snaps as it breaks. And it kind of lays on the ground, whining pitifully. And its body trying to like twitch and shimmy and use its broken legs to still try to move towards you, but not really getting anywhere in the snow. I'm pointing the flash dart at this thing. Such. I'm, I'm gonna just step around it and see if I can stab into its heart just to like see if it'll fucking die. <laughs> Go for the mercy kill the finish. It's an attempt. I'm assuming I don't have to make a move roll considering it can't move. I mean, you'd still have to watch. It's still have to watch out for its bite a little bit. Like breaking its neck means that its head flops around even more when it tries to move it. Fair enough. So it's not a difficult move roll, but still, just to be safe. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I walked around its backside to get to the side with the heart on it, is what I was meaning, but yeah. I oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that, that's fine then, but. As long as you go to wide berth, then you should be fine. Yeah, I'm not going to walk right next to the thing. It's trying to eat us. I'm um, no, 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 no. Am I good to go ahead and make the knife roll? Go ahead. Welcome to my life, people. 
<laughs> uh, I mean, you do manage to jam the knife in, but it doesn't seem like you really hit anything vital. As the wolf just kind of, you know, lets out a pain to sound and continues to whimper as his body continues to try Actually, to... Actually... I'm gonna look forward. around to see the badger around. Is the badger nearby? No. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> just, just, just making sure. Just making sure we don't know how far Allison kicked the thing thing. Okay. So. I'm gonna just cut its throat then, because <laughs> knives are apparently not very helpful. There we go. That's much more helpful. There you go. She means to stab through, and you know you can feel it give like one quick tense up, and then relax, relaxing, as it. You know, as its heart gives out and it bleeds and it dies. No one's gonna back away from that. And it's gonna. Uh, the body is still moving. Knife, nothing's on it. The body there still. Seem to, there doesn't seem to be anything but blood on your knife, and yes, the body's still. Oh, God. God damn it! Oh! <laughs> I'm looking at the wolf. <laughs> Ellie, your flashlight. Uh. Your flashlight seemed. For, for a brief moment, the flashlight, your flashlight, uh, passes over its mouth, and then you feel like you notice something, so you go back. And as you focus the flashlight on its teeth, uh, you can see things that aren't necessarily supposed to be there. For one, you can kind of see through them, which shouldn't be possible considering teeth, especially the teeth of a carnivore, tend to be pretty thick. In order to see through them like this, they would need to be almost hollow. On top of this, you see that there's something moving around inside that hollow space. More, uh, some small red-looking veins, tendrils, almost like the ones that were coming out of the side of its face when its jaw was cut. Which have, since then, seemingly retreated and disappeared. Oh, god. Okay. Uh... This is the day the zombies rule the earth. So, guys, hmm, I just got a glimpse of something. Concern. Yeah. Um, I'm noticing its teeth being hollow. That's not right for a carnivore. I said Mary, but I Mary. It's actually a wolf of all things. Yeah, I saw something also squirming, squirming around in its teeth. It's not there anymore, but... I think I... At this point, I'm about to say we have a little bit of a parasite issue. Didn't one of the teachers mention, like, an insect that does this kind of stuff? Uh, more oh, fungi. Oh. It was a fungus. Because uh, we have a fungus? We have a oh. fungus among us? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We're gonna cut back to Riley. I am still Good. fighting this deer. But it has a been a bit. bit now. It has been a bit. Uh, you, have, you have managed... Your hand still hurts a little bit, but it seems like whether you realize... you. Know, whether you realize what it was or not, you did manage to remove whatever it was from your hand and flung it off into the distance. Uh, oh. With a few cracks, uh, the fence is just like one more hit from giving away, and the Shoot. deer is going to crash through it. Shoot. All right, we'll take another slash at the deer's neck. See All right. To decapitate this boyo. Roll for us with Sooth. Hell yeah. All right. Better than a one. <laughs> so you manage to finally get a good hit in on that bit of spine. 
and its head comes off. And for a brief moment, you see a great mass of red tendrils reaching out from the stump of the spine on either side. Oh, shit. Just back up slowly. Uh, the torso seems to still move and gives one more heave as it crashes through the fence and lands on its side inside the pasture. And you'd be able to see the head on the other side of the fence still, you know, through the gap that has now been made, using what little movement it can make to try to pull itself along the ground. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to look around and make sure that James and the animals are still safe. Uh, the chickens are still in their own little enclosure, and they're all hiding in their, their like, hutch, okay. their hen house. It's not big, but it's something. And James is backed up to the other end of this little pasture with the cow. Okay. So we're still somewhat good. James, you sure you don't have any long sticks or something? He shakes his like, this is just... The only thing we really have for self-defense is my dad's gun, but I can't go get it. It's in the safe. This is not going to end well. All right. Um, I'm going to take my arm sets and try to slice at the limbs, I guess. At this right. point, I'm going to attempt. Let me just... Hell yeah. All right. So the torso of the deer with its legs is starting to try and, you know, put itself back on its feet. And you then proceed to quite cleanly cut one of the legs off. And again, there's a small eruption of those red tendrils from either end of the cut coming out of the bone. As the torso as the torso kind of collapses back onto the ground again, and the leg continues to twitch, and almost like an inchworm is trying to pull itself along the ground as well. Okay, one more, one more good stab. I'm going to aim for its heart, or at least try to. Solid two. All right, so, so you're aiming for heart? Yeah, I'm going for the hard kill, because at this point, I'm not going to be able to cut off every single limb without them getting close. All right, so you're trying to... So you're basically just trying to jam your scythe yep. in between the ribs, and mm -hmm. then out again, just to stab. Yep. Uh, give me a move as move roll as well to do it quickly. Got it. That, that'll do. So you just, as quick as you can, like, leap over, stab it in at the heart, and then jump back. And you can see just you know, gushing what blood was left in its body out from the hole, but the body still moves. Idea. Okay, plan. I'm going to go and grab a piece of the fence that's long enough and jam it into the center of the body where I made the stab into the heart, just jam it through to try to get it to jam into the ground and pin it. All right. Uh, getting around, it's easy enough because its ability to move is vastly reduced from what it was before, and it wasn't good before. Uh, roll force to rip up a piece of the fence. Roll force to jam it through and pin the main torso to the ground. You get it about halfway, you know, you get it all the way through the stab you already made, and then it slows up as it gets, you know, to untouched bits of flesh and such. Alright, I'm gonna try to, like, jump up and push the opposite end of my force with my hands into the pole or into the spike to try to push it in that last little end in. Yeah, just kind of slamming yourself into it to try and get it yeah. the rest of the way. Go ahead and roll force. All right, you managed to slam the fence post the rest of the way down, and the main torso is now pinned, still twitching and moving and trying to get loose, but it doesn't look like it'll get anywhere. Uh, the head with what little locomotion it has, has managed to pull itself across the fence line and is now in the pasture by, you know, an inch or so. It, it can't move very fast. No, I didn't expect so. And the, and the one loose leg is having minorly better luck trying to move across the pasture. Okay. I'm going to attempt to, like, just 
kick it back across the fence line and back into the forest. A leg? Yeah. All right. Uh, give me a force, I guess. It's very small and light. Can you give yeah. me a basic direction? General direction. Um, can you let me get my. Let me get the ruler. Uh, I'm going to attempt to like kick it this way. Generally direction. speaking, just yeah, just just because I'm I as long as it's away from James's house, you know. All right. So it's uh, ooh, off there somewhere. Okay. Mm. Just making marks and notes for myself. Just kind of walk. <clears throat> oh, let me get my mouse again. So now it's so now the only thing that's still like a threat, I suppose, is the head, Close. which is using minor amounts of like like the way you the same way you would like nod or shake your head to kind of haul itself along the ground. I would move like next to it, but angle myself this way so I could like, oh, not that way, <laughs> way too much angle. I'd, I would aim myself that way so then I could kick it that way. All right, go ahead and roll force again. All right, let me get my sheet out because it keeps on disappearing whenever I use anything else. Uh, force. Unfortunately, the head is a bit more solid and heavy, considering it's mostly bone, and also Shh. larger larger than one lonesome leg, and you just kind of stub your toe on it. Well, toe, toe equivalent. Toe equivalent. Son of a gun. All right. <clears throat> it does, I mean, it, it does still move like an inch or two. It kind of rolls over and then can tries just... to ride itself so it can keep crawling. I almost want to like, well, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my arm size, po like Ooh. try to stab it somewhat through, and uh, effectively like shish kebab it so I can pick it up and just yeet it into the forest instead, I guess, because it seems like kicking it's going to be harder, so. I'm going to give you a quick second to consider if that's a good idea. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> After last time, I realized that that's probably a bad idea. Yeah. Just keep in mind, those arm sides are part of your anatomy. This is true. I mean, I slashed at it last time, and it seems yes, to but do... you're you're doing. And it I did so a move roll to do it quickly. <laughs> this yeah, is true. it's fast. Hmm. What to do in this situation? Uh, I don't want to touch anything, and I can't touch it. Except with sticks. Were there any broken like bits of fence from when the deer bashed through the fence line? I mean, the fence is kind of worse for wear now. That is true. I just don't want to use any more pieces of fence than what I've already had. Poor guy's already got enough as is. Hmm. I'm just gonna try kicking it again. That seems like that seemed worked a lot last time. All right. You take a moment to compose yourself and you give it another good kick. There you go. It goes flying. Ta-da. <laughs> Alright. Pretty good. He looks back at James. It's like, I it think just, we're good for right now. He kind of nods. The cow seems to have calmed down a bit. James looks a little pale. Also... Riley, your your scythe arm's still out. Oh shoot. Um, I can explain. Kind of, uh, if you roll empathize, which you don't really need to, uh, he is kind of he's kind of like glancing at the arm scythe, like, what what is going on? What are you? What what are these things? I can explain. <laughs> There's a long bit of story that I'm gonna have to go on a later date. Just for right now, I need you to focus. I mean, with four successes on an empathize roll, I we could say you just have a quick jam sesh with him to get him up to speed yeah. with. Yes, I am an alien. Thing, this is just another one of those weird things that we're trying to fix the town from and such. It's gonna be we fine. Had a talk. We're trying to fix them from the Rileys. <laughs> no, from the. Uh, 
we had a discussion about what I am and we just accepting the fact that I'm just as different as anybody else here. Yes, and then, you know, whatever this deer thing is. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> nothing to do with him. We're just trying to fix it. Mm -hmm. And we will because we've done it. We've done it before. It'll be fine. Believe in yes. believe in your friends. He's like, oh, okay. okay. I'm I'm going. I'm going. What I mean? What should we do with the the kind of pointing at the torso that is still, you know, you, kind of moving like it's alive despite missing a leg and a head and being pinned to the ground by a fence post through it through where its heart would be. You let me worry about that. For right oh. now, if you believe that your animals are okay, get inside the house. Get yourself cleaned up. Get yourself calmed down. The others are probably going to be back at some point in time. Until then, I am staying here in the backyard to make sure nothing else comes out of the besides the other three. Okay? Just get yourself okay. inside. Uh, he's going to take a little rope and just kind of tie the cow off to a fence post on the far side of the pasture from the torso. So, she, you know, she doesn't try to escape through the new hole around the thing. So we should even try to get close to it. And then he just kind of heads inside and after a few moments he'd probably hear some like running water for like the sink so he probably gets himself a drink and eats there you go all right and there's, I will... some, there's, some, there's some lights on inside the house etc cetera, etc cetera. i will defend the yard until they return all right you're standing guard in the yard yes what are the others up to So, what are we going to be doing about this? I don't know. Because we That's, can't sit. Yeah. We can't really just simply leave this thing because the fact that it's still kind of moving, and plus, if any other animals try munching on this thing, we can burn it. You have fire? No. But James might. <laughs> Th that's fair enough. Um, yeah, very fair. Very fair. Do one of us want to quickly get see if James has any fire on hand, or something along those lines? I mean, yeah, I guess I'll head back this time. <laughs> yeah, because I ran. Last time and brought back some friends. Also, be careful the badger. We still don't oh, know where. Oh yeah, it's a badger. <laughs> we don't know where that thing is. I'm trying not to think about the badger right now. I don't want to have to deal with a tiny thing trying to eat me. I have to deal with a bigger one to try doing that. And who knows what the fuck happened with Riley? I mean, we right... have to find out. Oh wait, here, uh, Trevor, take this. What? I toss him over a walkie-talkie. Oh, okay. I mean, I've been meaning to give these one of those to someone, but seeing as this is the case right now, and I completely forgot about it up until this point. You know, thinking about it, we probably should have left one of those for Riley. Mm. Yeah, a little late for that, huh? Yeah, a little late. It was sort of the moment thing. Yeah. Kelly's kind of, kind of pointing the flashlight over or at the wolf and just kind of looking at it. She's still keeping her distance from the bloody thing, but she's kind of looking at it. Part of me wonders what it tastes like. No. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just curious. Can't blame me for being curious. Peace one? Yes. I rolled uh I rolled a two investigate. Do I you know what I'm saying? Anything? You, you, well I'm looking at the wolf entirely and just kind of going around it. I'm keeping my distance from it, just enough so so it doesn't Get nothing me. you didn't nothing you didn't really already notice what with the teeth what with the things in the teeth and the fact that it's still trying to move good lord right, i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to just go with i make it back unscathed All right Riley! Huh? Oh, what? Where are oh. the others? Uh, staying by a very incapacitated wolf. 
Yeah, Trevor, you'd come back and you'd see that there's, you know, a hole in the fence that's been busted through, and a deer torso missing its head and one of its legs that's been pinned to the ground with a fence post. Along okay. with a scared cow tied, along with a scared cow tied to a fence that is no longer making a lot of noise about the whole thing. I see you had fun too. So Allison had an idea. Do you think we can find anything that can make a fire in the house? Now, I would usually go along with these schemes if it wasn't for the fact that you guys are trying to set a fire in the forest? If I'm assuming in a that the frozen forest, yes. Okay, you know, I stand corrected on that bit. I'm not sure if James has anything, but I don't know if it's a good idea to talk to him now. We had a very traumatic experience, and he also found out about me, so he's kind of trying to process a lot as it is right now. Right, so asking him to help us burn a zombie wolf isn't going to go well. No, no, it's not. It's already bad enough that he has about one-fourth of a deer currently sitting in his yard. So... Yeah, that's, uh... Yikes. So as of right now, he says he doesn't have anything. He says his dad's gun's upstairs in a safe, but I don't know if dad's home and or if, you know, there's some way to get it out. He said there isn't, so we, that's kind of out of the options here. Plus, I, from what it looks like, it's not going to be of any use. Probably not. So, okay, that's a scrapped plan. Have you guys found out anything about these weird things? The wolf's teeth were hollow for some reason. How? What? Apparently. Okay. And there was something in them. Like what? Specifically? Some, uh, there's a, that looked like veins, but they moved like string almost, or worms or whatever. I don't fucking know. Kelly so pointed the, out. So the animals are diseased in some way? I guess. That's why we're trying to burn it. The thing's still fucking moving. We broke all its legs. And um, Allison's like throat and tries to having its heart. Yeah, no, I did that as well, and it didn't do anything. I, yeah, I we're technically... gonna burn it. I would only think the the only thing that I think would burn properly is is wood or and or pot. Well, no, not fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we got anything here. These guys got barely enough as it is. I don't know what to tell you. I say we just. I wonder mm. if we can find a way to get gasoline from the junkyard. I think there's gasoline there. Knowing knowing that place, it's probably got a lot of things. You want to run over across the street and see if they got gas and a lighter? Or, you know, I a flamethrower? I must say, could probably see if there's some sort of thing down there that they could get. Hmm. You know, the gun that, that uh, Kelly had is really going to come into a situation right now where we probably need it. I mean, all the times that we stated we probably didn't need it. Wait, when, when did Kelly get a gun? Hold on, I missed something? Oh, yeah, no, it's, 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 we'll talk about it later, not now. As of right now, um, just head over to the junkyard if you think there's going to be gas there, and we'll see if we can light these creatures up. Hmm. I just don't want to light the forest on fire, especially since I live there. I think I have a there are ways of doing controlled fires in the woods, people do it all the time when camping. Uh, um... Let me check something real quick. Fuck, Allison didn't tell me a channel for these things. Uh, just, just how many? There can't be so many channels on a radio. Just switch to one and just talk. Oh, yeah. F fuck it. I'll start with the first one, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, new plan, I think. Like trying to get Allison through the fucking walkie talkie. I thought you were supposed to say over after everything. That's only what in show. What is this, Trevor? What is do you think? <laughs> do you think there would be gasoline? At the junkyard. Probably. There's a lot of old cars there if it's a junkyard. Wouldn't surprise me if our buddy out there had siphoned anything. Yeah, because apparently James knows about Riley, so asking him for, like, fire material isn't going to go well right now. Fair enough. Also, zombie deer broke through his fence. So, uh, yeah, uh, pretty sure you night for the kid. Okay. 
We'll try fi- we'll, we'll help him fix it whenever we can. Yeah. I'm gonna start making way to the junkyard to see if we can find stuff to actually burn that damn thing. Alright. Okay. Keep an eye- uh, tell Riley to make sure to keep an eye out for a badger because that thing got yeeted. Say oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> we kind of, I kind of punted the badger. You punted it towards the house? <laughs> it wasn't meant to go that far. You're supposed to aim before you fire. That's the whole point of the trick. <laughs> Kelly, you're lucky that I. You're lucky that he is that far away. Otherwise, you would see him flying as bad as the badger, right? Yeah. Okay, it's not my fault. You are the one that punted him. You chose to do. You know what? No, we're not arguing about this now. I have about a half cut up deer currently in the backyard of our friend's house. Trevor, go get the gasoline and burn this thing before I get pissed again. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go if, do that. If, if not, we could probably see if we can shock the th uh, the things. Um, kill whatever's in it by shocking it. We don't car even know what's in it. Well, that... Okay, so gasoline and car batteries. Got it. I don't even know what's in it. Like, it could be anything. Yeah, that's why I'm... We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. <laughs> Trevor, go. <laughs> yeah, you have fun dealing with that shenanigans. I'm not going to. You're the one with the radio. Fuck, you're right. <laughs> Riley would just feel like... And just move his hand down his face as he pulls bits of skin. It's just like... <sighs> Any other planet. Any other planet. <laughs> <laughs> just continue to defend the yard. Trevor, you make it over to the junkyard. Yes. Uh, you would see. Mm -hmm. You you would see that the lights are on inside the main little office house near the front gate. Okay. Just gonna knock up and like knock on the uh window, I guess. All right. Uh, you'd see Scruffy look up from whatever he's doing. He'd kind of smile under his bushy mustache and, uh, roll himself over to you on his little backless rolling chair. His little rolling stool or whatever it is. Mm. It's like, oh, hello, Trevor. How can I help you? Uh, me and the others are trying to take care of a certain situation we were wondering if you had any like spare gas siphoned from any of the cars or something or maybe a battery or two that still worked and her rubs his she's like oh i mean i have some of that but i don't know if i should be handing it out to children <laughs> getting a lot of trouble you know yeah that's fair it's just uh we ran across something that doesn't seem to stop so we so allison had the bright idea of burning it to actually get rid of it because it seems to be affecting wildlife mm. he kind of gets gets up off his stool and he gives a whistle and you can hear eight sets of paws scrambling about so he heads for the heads to the door and opens it up and you know his two dogs come out with him he's like i'll get the truck <sighs> Thanks. And he heads around the back, and a moment later, you can hear an engine start up, and he pulls around the side in a tow truck. You want to hop in? Sure. I mean, things are kind of in the woods, so. Just across the street. There's, there's, <clears throat> there's technically one across the street at the moment as well, so. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> They just fucking hop in the side, the other side, I guess. You kind of have to squeeze in around two largish dogs. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> they are fluffy, just fine. <laughs> he he, <laughs> he drives you guys down the road, and assumedly you would be like, "Oh, that's the place." Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like James is right here. It's like oh, all right. He pulls around into, like, a side little space here. Probably sees the deer. Probably 
sees the destruction and some amount of the deer with the headlights like is that what you're talking about that's one of them yes Riley leaning up on the post oh hey Haas how's it going <laughs> <laughs> all right you can go ahead and hop out yeah I'll go I'll see if we can get the other one out here because it's a bit ways in the woods all right you go ahead and move your token in the meantime uh Scruffy's gonna work on turning the truck around and backing it yeah. in Gonna try and wide breath past that. Riley, right, didn't you kick a few deer parts into the woods as well? I kicked to like one direction and the head the other. Took a couple tries, but yeah. Oh god. <laughs> so Scruffy is currently dealing with the deer. Carcass. Do we want to try and drag the wolf over there as well? I don't want the wrist touching the thing. That's the problem. <laughs> Riley flashbacks. We don't uh, know what exactly is in it. And, um... It could be pretty easily able to just screw us over if we actually physically touch the thing. I mean, I've been punching it, and I've been doing okay. You're wearing gloves. Exactly my point. We've seen it in, like, the teeth and such. I grabbed it. If I grab it by the hind legs and start dragging it, maybe we'll be fine. Uh, that's the op that's complete. I mean, I could, I could grab it by the tail, if anything, too. You can try, but I seriously have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this goes. Just gonna, with with a uh, with one hand, just grab the tail real quick and just see if anything starts moving. Respawn. Just grabbing it by the legs and trying to haul it. Grabbing the tail first. All right. I mean, you got the gloves on. You're grabbing the tail. Seems fine. Okay, we're good. Just moves to grabbing the legs and starts trying to drag. Right. You start... Well, give me a force roll to see what sort of progress you're making for dragging this thing. It's going to take a while, but you are slowly dragging it along. Meanwhile, I... Riley, you can you get to watch as Scruffy backs his truck mm -hmm. open, uh, pulls down the, the hook, because there's a tow truck, mm -hmm. and starts kind of carefully at a, at a safe distance kind of looping it, kind of like tossing it over the deer and then over it again and just steadily looping it around the deer to hook it up to the truck. Oh boy. You plan on bringing this back or? Can't be burning things in people's yards. Yeah, you... Point's right. Just don't want nothing. Fe figure I'll haul them back to the junkyard, throw them in a pit and burn them there. I take him. We'll try to find what bits we can out there, because I think I kicked its head and its leg somewhere in the forest, but knowing it, they're probably on their way back now, so... Mm. Grab them up and we'll send them back to the junkyard for the pit burning or whatever. <laughs> just crazy animal fucking zombie bonfire. <laughs> just be, just okay, don't, okay. don't, don't touch it, because uh, I already had a run with that and it didn't exactly do me any well. Any sign of the badger as we're walking? Uh, not at the moment. Oh yeah, For, I forgot they uh, they also punted some weird badger that's also got this weird issue as well. So I gotta keep an eye out for that. So probably eyeball and see if I can see it anywhere. It just it's the badger. You don't. Anyway, you do not see that. All right, you good. do not see the badger anywhere nearby. Good. Kind of comes out of the woods. Hey, holy cow! Okay. Yeah. Uh, you you see, you know the what's left of the deer and uh, Scruffy uh, tying it up to the tow truck. I've had a day. How was the forest? Good field trip. Good question. Where's its head and leg? Ah. Uh, gone. Yeah, I I may have <laughs> punted it both. Somewhere and you yelled us at us about the badger. You punted a whole badger. I punted about two-fourths of a deer. Yes, but think of the ramifications that could possibly be. 
if this you thing get, is... Are you going to get bit by a leg? Yes. Uh, I'm Actually, no, in that factor, but any other animal could easily munch on the leg and be infected. I can assure you the leg and the head will probably make its way back here because they did breach the fence line as well when I cut them off. So they're going to show up at some point in time. I hope. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Possibly. I'm not concerned about this now. More importantly is that the farm animals are safe and James only has a slight PTSD attack. So we're good. Okay, Kelly punch the flashlight at the tied up deer in the sense of things and takes a look at that. Oh yeah, Scruffy, do you want me to pull out the, the, the spike? Are you good? Because, you know, safety. Shark should, shark should handle it. Okay, good. Okay. Kelly knows uh, is Kelly... anything with the deer? Uh, it's still twitching and moving and acting like it's alive, despite missing its head and one of its legs. Good lord. Yeah, it's been a day, and uh, I can assure you any attempt to cut its head off uh, proved to be, in fact, not an issue for it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can still see it twitching. Yeah, no, that's normal. Uh, it also hurts when you touch it. What? Yeah, I may have had a brilliant idea of trying to push it back, and uh, I think what you saw, from my understanding, from what Trevor told me with its, with uh, this here fuzzy friend's teeth, is was the same thing that was happening to that deer's antlers. Um, to a certain, I'm assuming to a certain extent, because I could see its veins. Um, mm. And uh, I touched it, and I don't know what happened, but my hand still hurts. And I it, I felt something, but I yeeted it off into the forest before it could do anything. Give me your hand. Right. Let me see. No, um, it's fine. It's fine. Kelly just takes his hand forward so she can shine the flashlight at it just to see. Fuck. No. Uh, God. Well, here's the thing. Riley, how hard are you resisting? Not too hard, honestly. All right. Way. I'm not going to make you guys do pointing trash rolls. It's not a hard thing to see either. And like, as you shine... The light on his hand, you would see that there's three small holes. See, it's fine. They don't go all the way through the exoskeleton, though. Through the, like, flesh exoskeleton, exoskeleton. whatever it is. Exoskeleton? <sighs> Am I in the yeah. world? See, it's fine. I see uh, little holes in your hand, dude. Riley has a mixture of flesh with exoskeleton and then other stuff on the inside. I am half bug. <laughs> <laughs> so it, there's, there's three holes through the flesh, which is, you know, bleeding and a little pain, you know, a little, a little hurting. But then they bear, but then they didn't really make it through the exoskeleton past that. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, this isn't anything worse than what I can just put in with an antibacterial and, and a band-aid at, at the treehouse. It'll be fine. Let's see, we get into better light. We should take a better look at those wounds, just in case. I mean, Probably clean them out and such like that. I mean, I, we can ask. I just prefer if we didn't like get James any more involved than we need to. But if you think this is as bad as you think it is, then we can ask and see if he's got a first aid kit somewhere. We had three animals going after us that were zombified creatures in the sense of things. How bad do you think it is? Yeah, well, he knows that I am what I am, and I ha it took a little bit to get him to calm down, because it's already bad enough that he saw what looked like to be zombie aliens, all right? Zombie alien animals come at his farm and try to attack his animals, all right? He's been through a lot today, and I don't want to get him any more involved than it is. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's just, we could, uh, worst case scenario, we can meet Scruffy back at the junkyard, and I can get a first aid kit there, if he's got one. Okay. Okay. Just for right now, let's get these carcasses and what we can back at the junkyard so we can burn them. And then we'll do one more sweep if we absolutely need to. Well, seeing how there's the badger and pieces of your dear friend still scattered about, I think it's best to say we should. So we got three more items we need to go after, but it is what it is. So let's first let's get... Let's regroup. Okay. I guess, in a way. So why don't you help the boys and let's get this going. I'll just... I guess I'm just gonna keep an eye on my hand and help okay. it hasn't bothered me any it hasn't bothered me any more than it is now and i've been still able to defend the backyard to a certain extent yeah i'm i'm just concerned in the sense of things because 
from what I saw is tendrils coming out of these things. Okay. That kind of explains a few things, but honestly... And, uh, what? like, okay. Saw tendrils coming out of the wounds from the wolf when Allison cut it. Uh, when... It, its head was firming, firming on the ground, I noticed that its teeth were hollow, and the tendrils were going through said teeth like veins, mm -hmm. which actually kind of disappeared after a little bit. Like, it went back into the body itself. And just... Hearing that, you kind of got hurt just by touching the deer, which... Which probably has the same issues as the wolf. Not a good thing. Well, it's over and done with now. We have the body, so let's just get it over with. Thanks for caring, and I appreciate it. We just have more concerning matters at hand. So, I, I made a joke, and I didn't mean to. But, more importantly, let's just get these carcasses out. And he would just kind of somewhat clasp his hand and just move over to where the boys and Scruffy were to try to load up the animals. Kelly shines their flashlight into the woods. Uh, just looking. Uh, I don't see, see anything. anything. I don't see anything. Are we ready to go, guys? Can we get this moving? Uh, it seems like Scruffy has properly tied up both what's left of the deer and the wolf with the hook and such. Alright. Uh, who's riding with Scruffy? The rest of us can walk down the street and get where we need to be. Well, Scarvey opens up the passenger door and both the dogs hop in, so there's not a lot of room in there. <laughs> Never mind. That's right, we can just meet him there. Yeah, let's just get going. Um, actually, you guys head on over. I need to check on James real quick, and then I'll meet you guys over there. I just don't want to leave him hanging. Let's, uh, at least letting him know that, you know, his... I'll stay with Riley if... That's yeah, if case. I turn, kill me. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. It's just making sure. So, we're leaving. This is a horrible idea if we plan on trying to kill you if something happens. Yeah, <laughs> well, sending one person to the forest with a bunch of. Also, Trevor, animals. give me the walkie talkie. Bye. Right, here you go. Yeah, Thank if you. I turn, you'll be able to hear it. So, oh. you. <sighs> Whatever. Listen, it was a bad idea in the first place to send Kelly over by herself anyway. You all, you three should have came over, but at least she let the I wolf I told away. Trevor to go. Yeah, but that still leaves two of you, and one you... of you, whether or not it's Trevor, you, it's or Kelly. It's done and over with, you two. Let's just get a move on. I want to make sure James is okay, and then I'll move over with you guys back at the junkyard, and we'll get this all regrouped in together. Besides, if the animals come back while we're there, we'll be able to at least get them, or, or at least call to you guys. Yeah. And it should be noticeable on if no things do come back, because Kelly points over to the chickens and also the cow. Besides, knowing Scruffy, he'll probably need two fighters over there in case the, or the deer get out. Not that they'll do much, but... Trevor, you're the only one with the gloves that are able to pick up the damn thing, so... I mean, true. I mean, Allison, yeah, if you want to go watch the bonfire, feel free. Let's just go. We'll be over okay. there when we can get there. Yeah. Go ahead and go. Don't right. do anything stupid, you two. Uh, we've already done a lot of stupid things tonight. I don't think we can top anything else today. You'd be amazed at what can happen in one night. Your point is correct. <laughs> we'll see you over there. Yeah. Better. I don't plan on... You know, losing my word now. Me, Riley would enter the house, or at least knock and gently walk in. Kelly follows. Alright. James is inside. You can see him at the far end of the hall, kind of looking out the window with uh, one of his chibberdukki in one hand and a glass of warm milk in the other. You wouldn't necessarily know it's warm, but it's not exactly a very important detail not to have. Sure. You all good, dude? He, kinda, he's, he slowly turns around and looks like he's like, I, I think I'll be fine. Okay. 
We're we're hauling off what we can to the junkyard. We're gonna try to burn it. So your your backyard is safe for right now. Okay. So I, just I wanna... I'll tell my family it was a, uh, a a wolf. I suppose broke the fence. I mean, to a certain extent, you're right. So. Yeah. Working. No. So we just wanted to make sure you're all good. I know today tonight was a lot. So. Not exactly the stakeout you were looking for, but better than nothing. At least that will hopefully be the end of it. You can only hope. We're gonna be meeting the the boys over by the junkyard. Like I said, we're gonna burn it. So if, I I don't know if you have it in you, but I'd at least like to put it out there. We're gonna burn them. So if you wanna come along and enjoy a bonfire with the guys, you can. And Kelly. <laughs> I think I would like to sleep. Right. Yeah, that's reasonable. Um, actually, um, I'm gonna straight up say this, cause knowing those things trailed us, it's probably gonna try. If you see, like, the weird stuff occur, like the, like, sort of like how the deer was. In the sense of things. Um, be extremely careful. Um, I don't recommend touching these creatures, like, at all. Okay. Also, I would prefer if you don't tell anybody of my, uh, thing. Okay. So it's a secret between you and me, and I'd prefer the school not knowing. You, me, and the other... And us, actually, you, James, and the other three, aka me, uh, Allison, and Trevor. Yeah, just just keep it between us, cause I would prefer if the town didn't know, cause I don't want to be on the bad end of a witch hunt. Okay. So, yeah, welcome to the secret society and whatever. Have a good night. Welcome and to the Riley craziness. Would, <laughs> Riley would walk out and may start making his way to the junkyard. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Chili's. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Chili's, dear God. I, s I say bye to James before hanging out. I'll t I'll I'll shine the flashlight into the woods one last time. All seems quiet. All seems quiet on the western front. Commence the eat. <laughs> and with that, Kelly heads over. As you guys get closer to the junkyard, you and you smell smoke and hear the sound of things crackling and burning. And when you get there, you'll see that there's been, you know, not necessarily a hole in the ground, but more like a fire pit made from random metal junk. <laughs> and okay. Some, and some burning carcasses within. Are they? Are they dying? Have they ceased movement? Scruffy's kind of just got his hands under each arm, but just shrugs. Just, I mean, they're not moving as much as they were. Burn them to a crisp if you can. Cause the last thing I need is those things crawling out with whatever's left and trying to get to you or the dogs or anything here. Bad enough they tried to get any of us. I did uh, investigate to see if there's any more movement going on with the bodies as things uh, are burning. The only movement you see is, you know, the bodies kind of just like collapsing as they're, you know, as they burn and lose structural integrity and such. Okay. Riley would just, after a long sigh, would just sit down, hold his hand. And just clutch it to his chest. Just sit and watch the fire burn. I think that was our first official fight. To a certain extent. Yeah. Like, legitimately. Oh, your guys' is... I didn't do much of anything. Well, you were there. I mean... Helping us... Helping the boys, at least from what I heard. 
understand what these things were is part of the battle, so I guess you did help in a certain extent. Mm. I just broke a few legs. Yeah. It's been Riley a... did most of the fighting from the looks of things. I fought one deer, you guys fought like two two animals, possibly three. We fought a wolf and I punted a badger. Yeah, that's considered fighting. <laughs> Had the badger come after me, then yes, I would have done most of the fighting. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you also sliced the fucking deer's head off, bro. Well, if I ran anything for my zombie books, that's what you're supposed to do. Normally, yes. Things you're also supposed to kind of destroy the head, because otherwise shit keeps moving. Yeah, well, I tried pushing it, and it didn't exactly end. And he holds up his hand, showing the injury. By the way, Scrappy, you have a first aid kit somewhere? I, I'm gonna need a, some antibacterial and a bandage. He nods and wanders back to his little his little building. And come back out with a little rusty white box with a red cross on the front. Riley would take the box and thank him kindly. Sorry, Rachel. Pull you out, pull you away from whatever you were doing, but uh, this seemed like a thing we needed to call a parent or guardian for. He nods. Oh, it's all right. It's perfectly all right. I've had plenty of these late night calls back in the day. Seriously? What kind? Well, I mean, I was helping the uh, the old scientist with all his sorts of problems. I mean... <laughs> oh yeah, so you're probably used to this crazy stuff. <laughs> he nods. I'm assuming you've had to patch him up with stuff like this before, or is it? I've... I just don't ask questions. He says something weird's happened and he needs it gone. I go inspect it to make sure it's actually something weird, and I ain't actually just helping a murderer. <laughs> and then I haul it away and get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, right, I would open the med kitten somewhat clumsily, start wrapping, you know, antibacteria on the hand where the injury was, and wrapping it around, having some sort of trouble tying the bandage into some sort of knot that he can work with so he could still write and do school stuff. You know, I don't actually know how to tie knots, so if somebody could help me. <laughs> Kelly goes I up. I don't mean to give this as a joke, but I do actually need a hand. <laughs> Kelly goes over to see if she could help tie a knot. Hold his hand out. Yeah, this isn't gonna be the last of it, is it? No. Like I said, my biggest concern is the fact that there's uh, still a few things out in the woods related to these. And uh, since there's a few deer parts laying around, I feel like some animals are gonna probably try munching on that. Then, most likely, we'll just have to take regular trips to the forest and scout and see if there's anything there. Obviously, Allison, since you and I know, or, yeah, if you and I, you and I know the forest the best, we'll just go to our normal areas and keep an ear and an eye out, ear to the ground, sort of thing. Essentially the plan? I should check on Mittens, see if he's all good. Yeah, he should be fine. He doesn't roam around too far. At least Perfect I kind of looks to us like you all should probably be getting back to your nice warm beds and such. Agreed. Let's head home, guys. I think we're done here for tonight. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the band-aid. And the help, Kelly. No problem. Kind of just flex his hand and stuff it in a sweatshirt pocket and be like, alright, let's get out of here. Start walking off. I'll walk with Riley back to the treehouse on my way home. You sure? The walk to the woods would be normal. I know, but with all those things out there, you sure you want to? Better than having you walk home alone. I mean, I can, uh, fine, sure. Come on. It's the start of our scouting run anyway. 
Well, stop by James' place to make sure nothing's happened there, boy. We checked with James. He should be fine. He'll let us. He'll give us a call if we have any issues of the sort. I just mean a general walk around, like by the house, like see if we spot anything moving abnormally. That's true. I'd rather not have anything unfortunate happen to his animals. He's he's had a rough night. From I think my we understanding. we all have. He doesn't deal yeah. with normally, so. That's true. All right, come on, let's head on out. Why don't you two head on home? You got the safety of the city as, at your head. Yeah. yeah. All right. See oh. you guys. See you guys later. Okay. And Riley, we just walk with with Allison home. In before badger. In before, in before deer head, <laughs> deer leg, or badger. Did anyone else feel the tension? Yes. <laughs> like, and surprise, badger. Wait, didn't you guys cut off its limbs as well? Of, the, of one of the animals? I, or the... I stabbed the badger's leg. I did not remove it. Oh, okay, I'm just making sure we didn't. We were keeping track of all the limbs. Something funky like that. Just making sure. Like I said, like like Kelly said, tree line, animals everywhere. Last thing I need right now is to go hunting in the morning, and the next thing I find is some wild rabbit acting like it doesn't know how to jump. Just don't eat any strange food. It's not me that I'm worried about, it's Sir Mittens. I take him hunting with me every morning when we train. Huh? I just don't want to. I don't want him getting into anything he's not supposed to. Yeah. Right. Why don't you head on home? Be quick, please. I thought they're around this part of the forest, but I never know. That deer head was pretty quick. <laughs> deer be fun. Pretty quick. <laughs> Have a good night, Riley. You too. See you. See you tomorrow. Perhaps. Don't say it like that. <laughs> Maybe. <sighs> Riley would climb right. up the tree. Do his thing. And drop kicks at the window. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, most, most, of, most of yours uh, you know, family and such are asleep already by the time you get home. Riley Mittens seems to be awake, however, and seems to be upset that you were missing for so much of the day. I just give him a nice pat and be like, I'm sorry, I had to fight the wilderness for a little bit. We'll make up for afternoon playtime tomorrow. Mittens <laughs> kind of nibbles and kicks at your hand a little bit. I know, I know. You can be upset at me all you want, but right now it's bedtime, so let's go to sleep. Mittens is growing well. Yes. <laughs> Mittens is a fucking ferret. <laughs> no, leave, leave Mittens. Do an investigation. Do an investigation. Fine. <laughs> They're so obsessed with what Mittens is. I believe he's a cat, but if he's a ferret to you people, then so be it. Yes, your cat is growing well and is longer than the day before. <laughs> it's a ferret. I don't care what Sir Mittens is. If he is a, what a cat, healthy, what a what a healthy long cat. <laughs> Listen, at this point, he can be whatever he wants to be, and if he wants to be a furry noodle, then so be. <laughs> I'm going to bed with my cat fur cat ferret and there's nothing to say. It's a carrot. <laughs> hey guys, what do you mean by my, my pet carrot? Wait, what the fuck? It's like yeah. It's no a promptly a carrot. <laughs> Until we know what it is, it's a carrot. <laughs> Just mean. It's not mean, oh. we don't know what it is. And it's Good. not just getting big, it's getting long. <laughs> it's very yes. cat- it, It's cat-like, yes, but it's getting long. Ferrets are kind of like cat-like in their own sense, but they're also really long noodles. 
Yeah, and cats are noodles too, so it could be just a really long cat. <laughs> Have you ever seen a really long Furby? You no. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Stop. All right, all right. So we'll go ahead and we'll wrap up the session here. How how did everyone enjoy Friday the Thirteenth? <laughs> I fought. I mean, at least we didn't. At least there wasn't a random fucking machete yet somewhere. I wish there was. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I would have taken that real quick. Just be like, oh hey, machete. First combat in the session in the, in the entire campaign, and I'm proud. I got to fight a deer. I was like, eh. I mean, oh well, yeah, for you. I mean, because we kind of killed your mom. I mean, what? <laughs> I am. Going to slap you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're talking about like first fight of the campaign. I'm like, didn't we fight your mom though? You guys fought my you mom. Fought... And it wasn't exactly a fight because you didn't you fight fought... her. You fought what was left of her. Fought. It was not even our fight. It was the shadow boxers fight. Yeah. You fought was essentially. You didn't fight his mother. You fought what was essentially his mother's corpse. <laughs> ah, so we fought nothing but zombies this campaign. <laughs> My word, something like that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we technically also fought the other alien to a certain degree. I was like, climbing on top of it doesn't constitute fighting. I stabbed it. I count that as fighting. There's also Fair that enough. time. There's also that moment where it got punched like a mile out. Oh yeah, right. That's anyway. because I was possessed. I didn't have any control yes. of that. I like to think <laughs> of those ah, small skirmishes. <laughs> Anyways. Did you participate in the session? Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. You little shit. Right. <laughs> Have you been in trouble because of your problem or your relationships? Yes. Uh, yes. I would say yes. Sure. We're all friends with James, so... Did you use or struggle with your pride? Yes. Yes. Um, sure. Did you put yourself at risk for the other kids? Absolutely, yeah. without question. Yes. yes. I nearly got bit in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and oh boy, are you all ready for the most exciting part? Yeah. Have you, have you learned have you learned something new and what is it? Who would like to start? Where did you even a slight case of parasites? Very good. Who wants to go next? Zambies. Yeah. Carrot. <laughs> no, that can't be a learning <laughs> point. And you because yeah. I'm the one that learned it. <laughs> We're not gonna accept carrot, but uh zambies I suppose is acceptable. Oh, I mean, we've learned, at least I learned from what we had earlier is that Riley enjoys enjoys looking up at the stars. I'm sure. gonna say I'm gonna say no on that one. That seems a too that seems too easy. James now knows of my dirty secret. That'll do. So, Agent, you just need to come up with something you learned. That is. Well, I haven't learned anything. At least nothing extremely of note to me. You give it a second. You learned to punt kick a batch <laughs> halfway across the forest. <laughs> you learned about trajectory and trigonometry. I aerodynamics. The aerodynamics. I kicked a ferret like I was in football. Not a ferret, a badger. <laughs> you kicked Close a enough. badger. We call that an acceptable casualty. This is what it is. I'm gonna give you a little bit longer to think if there's anything you might have learned. Uh -huh. What did the zombies do? I've learned game? Respawn doesn't like stupid answers to these questions. <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean... in and of itself is a stupid... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You know, I, I, I will accept that one. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, you guys are getting to a slightly more difficult part of the campaign. I need slightly more serious answers for things if I'm going to be giving you experience to let you progress. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's got to be some sort of growth, you know? You can't just answer stupid questions for the entire campaign and expect solutions. 
mean, the only, I don't, I don't think any of my answers have been stupid. They're not. You're doing fine. We're oh. all doing okay. Just in case any of you had any, uh, thoughts that maybe you'd be able to get away with stupid answers <laughs> in the future, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop you right here. Anyways. I'm learning more and oh, more. My cat's not a cat. When to go an alien every time? Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all had a good time. Yes. Wait, did Oblivion ever voice his? He said zombies. Ah. That was it. <laughs> I mean, that's all, all she wrote. You could have said something about Scruffy. Yeah, Scruffy's got a fire pit. Who'd who'd have thunk that? No. On the fact that. One. No, not just that, but the fact that he gets hired. Uh, like, he, uh, he's used to all the weird shit. There's also the fact that the zombies burn easily. But that's the true thing about a lot of things. Well, you know, fireproof stuff doesn't burn easily. But... They hate little shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yes, I hope you all had a good time and you were all free to... That was fun. Go about your days and think about life and how, oh. yeah, and how happy you are that so, that whatever this thing is I've made doesn't really exist. Yeah, life says the man brushed with death. Who <laughs> yeah. uh, literally Just had keep in mind? It's only going to get worse. People could die. I <laughs> am scared. Until you find an actual solution, it is only going to get worse. Riley could die. Fucking Kelly Realize could die, anyone right. could die. Right. Could lose people now. This is bad. Okay, I'm gonna send these guys off to uh, curb. Alright, I volunteer to be thrown at zombies. No. But bad it would be idea. fun. Yeah. yeah.